Assalamu alaikum and very good morning guys. How are you today? Uh, in this morning, I would like to uh, explain about the, our topic in the uh, six weeks. Uh, yeah. Exactly on the condenser. So I will explain more detail in the condenser and its types. Okay guys. Okay, what the meaning, definition? The condenser itself is a device or unit is to condense a substance from the gases to its liquid state by cooling it. In so doing, the latent heat is given up by the substance and will transfer to the condenser coolant. So actually, this uh, uh, properties uh, already learned in the thermodynamic so actually we already know what the, the latent heat uh, and uh, uh, what else uh, how to the uh, uh, substance change from the another phase to another type of uh, phase as we know a substance have uh, more than one of phases like the water have a uh, three types uh, of the phases. The first one you have the solid and then change into the liquid and then to the vapor. So the condenser itself we will talking about the last stage, last phase, the third phase. Which one then? Yes, the evaporator states. So how from the liquid change to the evaporator the, the vaporize and then we change again from the vaporize to the liquid so the condenser will uh, have the big uh, uh, paramount yeah, or important part yeah, in the, this condition so we go back to the slide the second bullet is used in the system involving heat transfer and then the condenser the last bullet condenser are typically heat exchanger which have various design and come in many size range from the rather small to very large industrial scale unit used in the plant processes we go to next slide so, the refrigerant condenser, the refrigerator uses a condenser to get rid of heat extracted from the interior of the unit to the outside air. Condenser are used in the air conditioning, industrial chemical processes such as distillation, steam power plants, and other heat exchange system. So. You uh, last bullet use of cooling water or also running air as the coolant is common in many condensers right so actually in the refrigerant system uh, condenser is very important part eh, to get to build eh, the temperature to be what we what we control what we uh, to uh, to aims uh, this one very important part so the function of condenser itself in the world heating condensation and air conditioning has back condenser happen to be a topic of great importance instead of a uh, confusing information the goal is to provide some basic information on the, the different types of condenser and their application so that's why in this part we will study uh, the first one the function and then also uh, how the uh, the process work uh, a to z and then we learn about the type how the condenser work and types of the coolant itself uh, different coolant, different types of refrigeration. 
Okay, we go to type of condenser. What we have here, we have uh, three types of uh, condenser. The first one by water coolant, and the second one by air coolant, and the last one is by evaporative. Okay, we go one by one to study in deep the type of a condenser. The first one we go is air cooled condenser. How the air will work to condenser? The condenser use air as cooling medium to condense refrigerant. It's called a air cooled condenser. So coolant we will cool again. <laughs> it's very very funny to to hear because a coolant as a cooler but the cooler itself need to cool by the another another fluid huh? so this type by by air so the coolant will cooler by air if condenser is located on the outside of the unit the air cool condenser can provide the easy arrangement this type of condenser eject heat to the outdoor and are simple to install so it's a similar work like the I think like the oh, uh, radiator work uh, process uh, we try to uh, uh, cool the water in the inside of the radiator by using the pushing the air by using the fan to push the air through the fin and then the, the fin will be uh, cooling by the air the same the same time yeah. so most common use for this condenser are domestic refrigerator upright freezer a great feature of the air colored condenser is they are very easy to clean so that they can cause the serious issues with the condenser performance is highly recommended that this be kept clear of that as we know uh, the fin itself uh, have the like the uh, small space uh, within the fin and then the like the uh, uh, dirt uh, like the from the air we will attach into the uh, the fin, so we will keep this is uh, still clean because uh, we will effect on the uh, process of heat transfer. Echo condenser require large surface area because of low specific heat of air, so that's why we will design by very big, uh, not so, not so big, I think, uh, but. It's more than the normal size of the type of the uh, condenser system, so we need more space uh, to put uh, on the condenser system in by using the echo condenser. So we need, need a uh, yeah more space and outside. You go last the bullet. Echo condenser is made of steel, copper, or aluminium. Actually, this is more on the or heat transfer of uh, uh, material can be supply the heat to the uh, body itself. So as we know, the aluminium is a better one. How to the transfer the uh, by using conduction system of heat transfer. So aluminium the best one because aluminium have the high conductivity in heat thermal conductivity ok we go to type of a color condenser there are majorly two types of uh, air color condenser by nature convection condenser the second one is force convection condenser so we go one by one what is the natural and what is a force convection the first one how con nat natural convection work the first one uh, you can see here from the figure 
the high pressure high temperature vapor enters to the top of the condenser from the the compressor so be here so be here so be here inside the tube and then the black line shown us a fin so in the second stage of the vapor processor the second stage as the outside air travel through the tubes and fins condensation occur and the vapor is converted to liquid uh, so in the middle of the process already changed from the vapor into the liquid by by cooling the system the fin and then what happened and when the uh, vapor uh, change to the liquid and then the high pressure liquid refrigerant exits the condenser from the bottom by by low temperature this one of part of natural convection and how about the force convection we use propeller or fan to push the air through the, the fin so now we have the velocity high velocity to push the fin maybe we supply the air more higher huh? higher than the natural convection system actually this one is more effective huh? but maybe we'll supply more energy to the the motor fan so we compare both of the type of the uh, system we have uh, some of difference between them okay we go the material convection uh, need large surface area because as we know as i was uh, mentioned before we need uh, large space uh, to design or construct the natural convection system and then consume large space simple in construction and low cost and this one is very good because low cost and now how about the force convection need fan or blower to decrease surface area yes we need the supply more more contact area within the air and the fin so that's why we, we should be supply the air so how to supply by the blower or the fan consume less space correct and complex in the construction yeah very difficult to cool to design it and then higher cost comparatively of course because we put the motor inside of the system so advantage of air cool condenser so the advantage of the cooling condenser is given below the first is use it location where water is difficult to use it very simple construction low initial cost and maintenance cost less piping work to do less change of fueling very easy to clean yes because because big big space so easy to clean yeah, right So how about the advantage of cooling condenser is given uh, for uh, oh still in the under sorry so still under the uh, nature of uh, uh, flow still we have here much of the image uh, uh, the first one low low heat transfer rate noisy operation while application and large of surface area is required in hot water weather condition is less effective of course because we use environment air to clean the coolant so what happened if the summer we supply the hot air to the coolant so what happened maybe not effective of course and then 
it's less efficient than water condenser, of course. Uh, it's uh, more effective. Uh, uh, water, of course, of course, more effective. Then the last is air coolant condenser cannot be used along with refrigerant having higher compression index. This is of air coolant condenser. Low heat transfer here, rate, noisy operation as uh, already. Uh, sorry. Uh, how about the water cold condenser? Water cold condenser use water as cooling medium. It may be re recirculated or fresh water depend upon availability. So we use water eh, for coolant the uh, refrigerant. Although a little more pricey to install. Yes, this condenser are. Uh, the more efficient type. This condenser will require, require regular service and maintenance. Yeah, it should be have the regular schedule. There, they also require a cooling tower to conserve water to prevent corrosion and the forming of algae. Water cool condenser require constant supply of makeup water along with the water treatment. As we know, when we uh, utilize the water, water of course will invite the algae. So water with algae cannot be spread, right? So we need to uh, regular service uh, to clean the algae. We go to second bullet. The selection of water coolant condenser depend upon cooling was load in evaporation condenser temperature, availability of water and water inlet outlet temperature. It should be designed properly uh, to give to supply water input and water output. This is more under uh, what we call control volume. Eh? how to, to control the volume and then we can control the the temperature okay Tully the type of uh, condenser by water cooler uh, we have uh, three types here the first type is shell and tube type condenser and shell and coil type condenser and the last one tube and tube types condenser we will go one by one and then we will try to explore what the type is it okay okay now we go to the first type of the, uh, the condenser by the cooling uh, by water cooling the first one shell and tube type Compressor discharge gas flow flow through the tube in the condenser. Okay, we can check from the figure figure here. So maybe the green the green color uh, mentioned about the refrigeration flow uh, using the tube. And then here maybe the supply from the inlet here of the refrigerant, and then we will outside go through the uh this uh outside yeah so maybe the high temperature from here and then coolant will be go through the shell side fluid system here yeah so the coolant using the water we supply from here and then we we'll go to outside from this side yeah, okay so the water will uh, go through the every tube here so what happened so the tube we will cooling by the coolant temperature here so the water pipe into the shell the shell acts as a recifier the end of the shell are removed for cleaning most expensive type of the condenser yes because of the complicated design another type shell and coil type condenser actually same like the the first one the first type 
but this type is constructed by spiral of construction so the refrigerator will go through in the inside of the tube and then water we supply in the shell go through the the, the tubes so the coil of tube includes in wall in well the shell refrigerant flow flow through the coil water is discharged into the shell when refrigerant come in the contact with the cold water is condensed and discharged through the valve okay okay this one the last i think the last type of the uh, designing in the water condenser system tube and tube type condenser so the same eh? tube and tube so in this type the pattern of the shell will follow the pattern of tube itself so when the tube design is look like the spiral of uh, example we can see the figure the figure with the red one tube design and then another one the blue one us the shell design so the water we will go through in the blue line while the refrigerant will go in the red one so the same the same pattern so heat exchange take place between the fluid in the inner and outer tubes refrigerant flow in the outer tube water flow in the inner tube refrigerant and water flow in opposite direction to maximize the heat transfer this one the last type of uh, well, uh, we study you know uh, condenser the last type by evaporative so, while this remains the least popular choice of evaporative condenser can be used inside or outside of building. Oh, very good. And under typical condition, operate at a low condensing temperature. Uh, typical, these are used in the large commercial air conditioning units. Although effective, they are not necessarily the most effective. Okay. So, we try to understand the process of evaporative okay from the figure so the evaporation will uh, go through from the upper side and then go to by drain like the oh, what we call the like the rain uh, so then we use the fan to push uh, refrigeration uh, water the refrigerant so the refrigerant is flowed through the pipe uh, through spray of water the refrigerant is uh, condensed so a latent heat transfer takes a place through the pipe so from this uh, uh, we can cool the uh, refrigerant inside the tube and then uh, the water uh, uh, supply from the from the upper inside huh? uh, to the uh, down down uh, what we call the bottom of the uh, and we go to the advantage of the evaporative condenser the advantages of a evaporative condenser are as follow evaporative evaporation is a part of heat transfer process with absorption capacity of water is higher than air it needs less coil surface no need of cooling tower Uh, disadvantages of operative condenser are as follow need a uh, separate system for water spray needs regular maintenance this type of condenser can be used only for medium sized refrigeration plant okay thank you that's all um, next class we will study about the expansion valve right in the seven week of uh, topic thank you that's all